Hello and welcome to Atlassian Demogen. This is a monthly look into what has shipped in Jira Software Cloud. My name's Jade and I'm a product designer on the Jira Software team focused on building all things DevOps. In today's session, we're going to have a look at our brand new cycle time report. The cycle time report helps you get visibility over your team's performance and will show you how long it takes your team to complete Jira issues. Cycle time is the time measured from the first commit to a production deployment. And with all that being said, let's go ahead and hop into a demo. So here we have our cycle time report. You can navigate here in Jira via the reports tab or from the insights on the deployments tab. So as you can see, this report gives you a few sets of metrics, and this is actually populated on your code and deployment tools. So this means that there's no extra work for you and your team to make this report. It is all passively generated and it will be a true reflection of your team's work. So in this top graph, this compares your cycle time, which is the time taken for an issue to go from the first commit to deploy to production from week to week. And it also compares it to a 12 week median. So in this graph, you can see any bottlenecks or other concerns in your project, and it can keep you and your team on track. You can actually dig further by looking at the week breakdown below. So here you can see the issues shipped in that week and actually investigate the proportion of time and work done on that issue. For example, we can see that this issue cycle time up here is over our week median, but this didn't seem to come from our review time. So maybe in comparison to the issue below, this issue was just slightly trickier. And you can also see this is reflected by four commits as opposed to two. You can also view your cycle time on the graph here by hovering over each point representing one issue. You can also select different weeks and view that week's respective breakdown by clicking on the weekly comparison graph or here on the date selector. You can also view your issue itself by clicking into the issue from this breakdown table. And finally, you can also filter this entire report by issue type or by the epic. So you can really make this report customized for your project. So there we have it. I hope our cycle time report will provide you with useful data and get your team making small adjustments to improve your median cycle time. We hope you like what we've done so far. And as always, please let us know what you think via the comments or the give feedback button in product. Thanks for watching everyone.